Great God day to you, my great, amazing, wonderful, beautiful, and inspiring friends. Welcome back to video five of the series that is honoring my late colleague, Trevor Moad, who lost a battle with cancer at age 48. But his work is going to live through Kaylee, Gunner, and I. Our company, the Dream Leader Institute, and our channel get out of the porta potty. So, video four was about writing a new ad campaign in your own head. Video five deals with Trevor's fifth tenant, which is, and he spoke a little differently than me, but his fifth tenant is never say stupid shit out loud. Never say stupid shit out loud. More on that in a moment, but I really thought this quote by the late great Benjamin Franklin really tied nicely into video four and video five. Benjamin Franklin once famously said, many, many, many people die at age 25, but they're not buried until they're 75. Once again, think about this. Many, many, many people die at age 25, but they're not buried until they're 75. The whole point of this series, the whole point of Kaylee and I's channel, the metaphor of get out of the porta potty, don't lead a crappy life, really, really connects deeply back to that. But what does don't say stupid shit out loud even mean? I, I usually didn't use that little saying. I usually used a quote by the great Soren Kierkegaard, please don't label me, for when you label me, you limit me. It's kind of the same thing, but Trevor would always explain it like this. I can't always guarantee that positive thinking works. I can't guarantee that positive thinking works, but I guarantee you with 100% certainty that negative thinking will work 10 out of 10 times. And he famously told a story about a man who got froze inside of a truck. I mentioned it in a previous video and they found him and he had died and he believed he had frozen to death, when in reality, the freezer wasn't even working. So what happens when you say, I'm tired? You get tired. What happens when you say, I'm stupid? The odds are you're not going to do that well, or I'm ugly. Boy, I used to say that one a lot. And it wasn't true because beauty is in eye of the beholder. So once again, this message is, don't say stupid shit out loud. Don't label yourself, because the labels you use on yourself are exactly what got you where you are today, and they won't be the labels that get you out of it. I only use one label on myself, and I will show you exactly what I do. Every morning, you've heard me mention it before, my eulogy is on my desk. So I go back to my office and the individual characteristics are God created Jonathan to be loving, kind, peaceful, graceful, patient, connected, authentic, humble, accepting, and my favorite word, genshai, which once again simply means don't treat people in a manner that might make them feel small. But how I really, really, really connect to these comments is I do my positive affirmations out loud with emotion every morning and I finish it with the only label that I'll ever use. Once I've read my eulogy and I've recited my mission statement of leaving everyone I meet better off, I then turn these into affirmations. I am infinitely loving. I am infinitely kind. I am infinitely peaceful. I am graceful. 
I have infinite patience. I will be connected with everyone I come in contact with today. I am authentic. I am humble. I am accepting. I am Genshai. And then to finish it off with the only label I use, I am a son of God. You are a son of God or you are a daughter of God. What does that mean to you? That's up to you. But for me, it means I am loving. So every morning, that's my reminder to not say stupid shit out loud, to remind myself that if I think negatively, it's going to work 10 out of 10 times, but instead to speak from a place of positive affirmations and remembering why I'm here every day. Once again, don't be one of those people that dies at age 25 and doesn't get buried until they're 75. Thanks, Benjamin, for the great quote. Thank you all for watching today. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe. Please give us a share and have a wonderful day.